In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see a stem with the two small leaves there. And then it's a circular option here with some gradient fill along with the icon and the text. And I've given some shadow effect here. And there you can add the title and the detailed text. And on my next click, this one comes from the top you can see here this is the option b with the different color combination then option c option d and option e likewise i have created few more slides with some different variations this one i have created with a lighter background you can see here and this particular slide is without the stem and the leaves you can see here and i have created one more where uh, one color only I have just differentiated so that to differentiate the options we can show this particular slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guide then go to insert shapes from the basic shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease the size then align center align middle I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to just keep it here. Then I'm going to uh, cut this uh, shape into two. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. You can see here and exactly put it in the center. And I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to add it here also. Now, let me just select both of these shape outline make it no outline and give some different colors so exactly you know what exact i'm trying to do so first of all i'm going to keep this area only which is the yellow and delete the this one and here i'm going to keep this one and delete the yellow area so first of all for that what i can do is i'm just going to select this over rectangle hold the shift key select the oval shape go to format merge shape you can see here I'm just going to click intersect so it retains only this part and the other part it's deleted now here the other side the other way I'm going to do so again I'm going to select this one first again hold the shift key and select this rectangle merge shape I'm going to select subtract so you end up getting something like this then align center align middle so it's oval shape but it has been split into two shapes so let me just change the background of this one right mouse click go to format background and any dark color background you can choose so i've just chosen this color a combination of blue gray and then i'm going to select this blue part and i'm going to give a kind of a white color you can see here and this one i'm going to give some gradient fill so select the gradient fill and I'm going to use two stops only. So first stop, I'm going to select maybe some darker color. Maybe I can select the color combination of red and with a lighter color. Something like this and make sure that this is something I'm just changed. I have changed the direction. If you feel that this is more light, you can just increase that one also. Maybe you can just uh, choose two color combination also. So once this is done, I'm going to give some shadow effect for this. Go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give a black color and transparency increase to maybe 60 or 70 percent. Then go to effects and here under soft edges, increase the size here. So you can see here. And then I'm just going to put this one and then send this two back. So you got the shadow effect also. If you want to increase the size, you can increase further and just put it something like this. And then I'm going to add two shadow effects uh, just under the 
this white uh, shape press control D to duplicate I'm just going to reduce the size and let me just increase uh, reduce the the soft edges here you can see here and then I'm just going to select maybe I can still further increase the, this one and then I'm just going to let me just reduce the size you can see here if you want or I can just increase this and I can just go to transparency I can reduce the transparency effect also so you can see here it is getting more darker so what I'm going to do I'm just going to select this and then send this to back let me just select this this also now you can see here and this one the white should come front so it looks like this again control D select this again select this white shape and bring to front so you can see here some shadow effect has been created so now if you want you can just add the options and move this side or if you want to make it something kind of a small plan for that go to insert rectangle draw a small rectangle here you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and make sure that it is aligned center and then I'm going to add some icons here go to insert icons again this icon feature is available only in the latest version of PowerPoint and then I'm just going to select any icon click insert you can see here this height and width I'm going to make it 0.5 and color I'm going to make it white and put it exactly in the center something like this and if you want to draw some small leaves also you can do it go to insert shape select the oval shape you can see here like this shape outline make it no outline add shape fill also white and right mouse click edit points you can see four points here select the top point just drag this inside you can see here and this also like this so it looks like kind of a leaf shape again depending on the requirement how much size you need you can just reduce it bring it here just tilt it a little bit and just put it here control d tilt the other side and then attach it here then here i'm just going to add the option number you can see here i'm going to add option number a or one two three four whichever way you want maybe a gray color I can choose and I'm going to put it on the top of this one here make any good font I'm going to select century gothic maybe bold and increase the size and go to insert text box your title again this is also maybe white font will be visible clearly century gothic center align make it bold and then you can add some detailed text here again white font reduce the size center align and just put it exactly in the center let me just go to view remove the guide so it looks something like this so now I'm going to select all press ctrl G if you want to group it and move it here you can see here press ctrl D this is second third fourth and fifth and ctrl A select all make sure that the equal spacing is given so let me just move this a little bit towards the left and then I'm going to select all this by holding the shift key go to format you can see a line I will say distribute horizontally so it gives equal spacing like this now it's very easy you can just go and change the color of your choice so this is the one way of doing this one or if you want to uh, interchange you know this one should come from this uh, from the bottom and here it should come from top so I'm going to ungroup this you can see here let me just ungroup this and I'm just going to move the title I'm going to bring it here this I'm going to put it at the top you can see here exactly and again this leaves also you can bring it here and then 
tilt the other way let me just tilt like this you can see here and this one will come here maybe the shadow i can put this side and the text will look something like this here so this way also you can do it so whichever way you feel better you do it so it's very easy for me now i'm just going to choose some different color combination maybe i can select a light blue with a dark blue or some different color combination maybe this so you can see here a different color combinations you can choose it so just change the colors according to your size and if you want to give some small animation you can just do it go to the animations enable the animation pane let me just select this one ungroup this you can see here maybe this option inside the circle maybe you can group it you can see here maybe this you can group it and then this one i'm going to give the add animation go to more entrance effects and say stretch stretch i'm going to say from bottom so it comes like this and then the leaves should come so leaf i can give maybe again the same effect uh more entrance effect go to the stretch you can see here stretch maybe this is from right and i'm going to select this animation painter apply to this leaf and this would be from left and this should happen maybe with previous but i can give a small delay here something like this you can see here a small delay so let me just play how it looks you can see here it looks something like this and then i can select this one and for this whichever option you like to give it again go to add animation more entrance effect you have got variety of uh, different options available maybe i can give a uh, float up so it looks something like this or i can just make it a, a basic zoom also it comes like this and click ok and this should happen again with previous or after previous you feel better whatever so it comes something like this you see here and then this title and text again you can give the same animation effect which is the stretch so likewise you can do the same animation to rest of the options